What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Hagerstown, Maryland currently. Uh, getting ready to deliver what I'm going to show you here in a minute. But uh, what I wanted to go over with you guys today is uh, why I feel this Kaufman 36 foot trailer is the best starter trailer. Sorry, the highways right there. Is the best starter trailer for someone trying to start out as a non CDL car hauler. Um, I got about five reasons why I feel that way. Um, and this is based off of experience from the last 120,000 miles on this trailer. Um, I've had great success with it and we're going to go over uh, all those here in just a second. As you can see here, I am hauling uh, two partials, should you say. Got a truck bed and a um, brush hog for a skid loader and uh, these are both for the same customer um, guys that I've known for quite a while. So uh, we'll go with first reason is the deck design. Uh, if you were to fill in the center of the trailer, you would add a little bit of weight, but you would be able to haul more than just a car. Um, as you can see, I make it work. If you've seen any of my old videos, you know what I'm talking about uh, between tractors and uh, freight, small containers, skids, things like that, motors, anything. So uh, that's reason number one is just the versatility of this trailer um, with the with the deck design. Now, the next reason uh, is the length. It's 36 foot. 35 and a half foot so say 36 foot uh, that gives you plenty of room for two vehicles and why I say that because if you get into uh, like the 32 34 foot range uh, you're you're just pushing for weight you're gonna be always overhanging it on the rear and um, you know you're limited to your options of vehicles on this trailer you're more likely to be overweight uh, than you are to run out of length. Uh, if you think about the weight of two pickups and things like that, you're more likely to be overweight uh, before you are out of length. Um, the, we'll go with number three here, guys. Uh, bear with me. We're going to go to the back of the trailer. Nice muddy mess here in this parking lot. Um, reason number three. Uh, this is a pretty, I would say, a pretty level parking lot. Um, and as you guys can see, the back of this deck um, has a long dovetail, which puts the deck of the trailer um, not so high off the ground, which can hurt, but can help you more than it's gonna hurt you i drag that thing everywhere i go it's reinforced well i don't care if i drag it i drag it every time i come in and out of my driveway and the only thing that happens is it pushes the lights um into the sockets like cocks them in the sockets so why i like that long sloping dovetail and the low rear deck height is it is very easy to with their eight foot ramps that Kaufman will sell you with the trailer it is very easy to um, load low cars I have loaded a um, Ford GT350 on a parking lot just flat like this eight foot ramps and had no issues loading it onto the trailer uh, so that helps you um, I know from experience that the Appalachian trailer um, that we have run that Levi owned is higher off the ground, which gives you more clearance, but it also makes the angle um, a lot steeper when trying to load something with a low front bumper. Okay guys, number four, the price of this trailer. So I bought this trailer brand new, it's a 2019, I brought it brand new and when you buy a Kaufman trailer brand new, you buy directly from the factory. There's no middleman, there's no someone in between needing to make a buck. This trailer, brand new, with the upgraded aluminum ramps, was $7,200 out the door. If you look on price, 
prices around you price trailers you know 7200 bucks is a very 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 good deal um, for a brand new trailer the durability of this trailer which is number five um, is why I'm these two go hand in hand it's the best bang for your buck this trailer's got 120,000 miles on it and the yet last year and a couple months a year and a month really not even a month so let's just say a year whatever um, has held up great yes it does have its chips in the paint uh, most from forklifts loading and unloading cars um, but if you take a look at the front structure the paint really you might not be able to see it because of a shadow but the paint is just barely chipping off i've touched it up a few times and uh it, it's done just fine you know all the cross members just have a few chips from rocks and things like that but honestly this trailer has been great and it's held up great um it's still got the original brakes on this trailer um on the rear excuse me the front has new brakes uh, because if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that is a new axle in the front. Uh, and it's, uh, both of it, the rear axle is the original. It's got 120,000 miles on it. When this one got bent, um, I had to put a whole new axle on it. But uh, the springs, the equalizers, all the hardware except for the front axle is all the original. And I haven't had any issue with them. Uh, these are only 10-ply tires. And this is the... I had 10 ply on it when I got it, 14 ply on it the next set, and then I just put 10 ply on it again. So I'm on my third set of tires. I'm um, getting about 40,000 out of the 10 ply, 60 out of the 14, and then I couldn't get my hands on a set of 14 ply quick enough, so I just did the 10, and I should get about 40,000 miles out of those. But those are my five reasons, guys, why I think this trailer, if you are non CDL, uh, starting out if you want this trailer is a 14k trailer but can be derated to 12,000 if you want to run a dually with it um, I've honestly had no problem running a single rear wheel truck for the last 120,000 miles with this trailer um, with that being said guys that's my 10 uh, 10 that's my five reasons why I feel like this is the best beginner trailer for non CDL car hauling. Thanks for watching guys. If you made it this far in the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out and we'll see you on the next one.